Alright folks, plus here, welcome back to another Pokemon Master video, and uh, we're gonna continue doing our Battle Villa stuff, right? So yesterday, we stopped at Thorton, alright? We almost took out the Ablog, uh, we took out the other side, and it's just Thorton with his Bronzong left, which is very, a very, very tanky Bronzong, and as well as, um, the almost dead Ablog. So, um, hopefully we could take out the Ablog without too much issue there, right? Um, probably just start out Willis, both of them. And then Ember, take Avalog out, then buff since, you know, I mean, just gonna buff her special attack since not gonna use Torkoal for any, a lot of damage in the future stages, right? Since this is the last one that is actually weak to fire. So we're gonna do that. Mew, just for tanking as usual. Pikachu, one gauge spam. That's <laughs> the main reason why Pikachu's there. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Does anyone else has like a one gauge span with like more than one move gauge regen? I don't know. Anyways. Oh, really? Starting off with analysis complete? Ugh. That's not good. <laughs> At all. Alright, double edge from Avalok. Hopefully, it doesn't do too much damage. A3, that's not too terrible, I guess. Could have been worse. Alright, took that out. Let's go ahead and Swift over here. Let's X Special Attack with Torkoal. Yeah, we're just doing no damage to this thing. Let's think about Bronze on right. Now this is completely such. <laughs> Ugh. So bad. For us, not, not for them, obviously. <laughs> They're tanking fairly well here. As you could probably notice. All right, let's get our last uh, special attack in there, and then we can go ahead and sync move, Q moves, and there we go. Let's see how much this one does. Probably won't do too much. Maybe 1k. Oh, 1.7k. That's much more than I expected. Um, yeah, 700 more. <laughs> All right, let's swift in. Accuracy down. 576 post sync. Alright. I think we do have to rely on sync a lot here then. Um, this guy took some hits. It's not that big of a deal, I don't think, though. Uh, let's get Thundershock in there. Just keep on spamming. I mean, this is like. This is the ultimate spam team. All three of them, low gauge moves, and all have MGRs on them. Ooh, here comes the first aid. Which we unfortunately have to resort to. <laughs> oh well. Okay, we would. Uh, we we should have our uh, sync move up after this. And we do. There we go. Q moves again. It should be down, right? We're yeah yeah. We sync before it used Iron Head. We're good. So we're not going to take any more damage, and Mew should be out of first aid range, so it should be able to get first aid again next uh, round, so that's cool. Um, not that bad, I guess. You know, Thorton is definitely one of the tougher ones, for the most part, in terms of boss. It, it, he just takes so many hits, especially, and we got unlucky there because it started out with, uh, with uh, analysis complete, which was super unlucky for us, just damage-wise, right? Um... But it wasn't that big of a deal, I don't think. It wasn't too bad. Alright. Um, this is what? Stage 10, right? Stage 10, then we'll get Vitality Treats again. Uh, there we go. Let's take that. This is, this is HP, right? Yep. That's the HP one. Yeah, let's move on to the next set. The Sawyer set. This one's probably going to take us a few days. I would assume this would take us probably two to three days. Um, I don't even know. Maybe even four days. It's this, this set is tough. Sora is tough. Um, yeah. So really. Honestly, Nolan is probably like just one of the more easier <laughs> sets. Um, although, you know, Nolan himself is... I mean, bug, bug type. Bug type is a tough one. Especially if we are running free to play, right? Because free to play bug types... We got Masquerade. That's like the only one. Oh, yeah. I um, also need to do my daily summons. Oh, watch me get another Plumeria here. I mean, it could happen, <laughs> it's just very unlikely, but it's possible. Um, also, if you guys are wondering, why the heck am I uploading this so late today? Well, something weird happened last night. 
Um, you know how, like, my sleep schedule is all screwed up, right? Like, a lot of you guys probably are as well. Um, but, so, like, I just keep on going to bed, like, later each day. Like, every day I'll just go to bed at, like, an hour later or something. Like, it went from, like, I went to bed at, you know, like, 6 in the morning, then, like, noon, then whatever. And then, like, the day before yesterday was, like, I went to bed at, like, 9 o'clock or something. And then, yesterday... I finally like moved it so late that it was 12 p.m. So like I went through like a whole cycle of not going to sleep, <laughs> which is terrible. Don't do that. Don't do that. Right. Um, and yesterday I actually went, you know, to, uh, to bed around you know 11:30, 12 p.m. Just regular sleeping time, and then I woke up at 6 a.m., which is unbelievable. <laughs> so that's why this is uh, a bit late. So, anyways. Um, let me go game plan for the next stage, and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so this is the team we're probably gonna go with, right? Um, Lucario because they're fighting weak. And the reason I'm using Lucario over Sugao is pretty obvious. Um, Focus Blast is, uh, Sugao is just not good here, right? Um, Focus Blast 70% accuracy is kind of terrible. And, uh, in order to increase that accuracy, obviously you do have to use its trainer move, right? Uh, which does cost 3 bars, for one. And also, I do want to save the trainer moves for the sub-bosses and bosses. Uh, we're probably going to use most of them there, right? Um, so we're going to use Lucario here. And, you know, again, like I said before, free-to-play villa options are extremely limited. Um, which means we have to, you know, just play with the stuff that we have. And not expect to go farther than, than we probably should, right? So that's why I'm using Lucario here. That's an extra unit slot, whatever. It's fine. Um, our goal today is just to get like the first three stages down and then do some damage to Agatha. As for Torkoal, Torkoal's, you know, a tank. Um, reason why we're using Torkoal tank is honestly kind of sad because <laughs> Torkoal's kind of expendable now since offensively it's not going to, uh, you know, help us anymore. And defensively it's still really, really good, right? As will Lewis, good defensive stats, all that stuff. It, it should be a solid tank here. Peak shoot for the potions, pretty straightforward. One bar spam, just get... Lucario Mega Quick with Pikachu, right? So, there's that as well. Okay, let's do this. I will be using Lucario's uh, power-ups, though. Um, you know, since I'm probably not going to use Lucario. I mean, I will use Lucario again. You know what? Let's just, like, use one of each, then. And, you know, if not, just use them all. And all that stuff. Um, I'll be spamming Vacuum Wave instead, right? Because I do, like... I want to wait. I'm gonna wait till we mega before we actually start doing like actually good damage and all that stuff. Alright, let's get the will us on all these folks. That's the last one, right? Okay. Torkoal's tanking good. I like that. Um, Rock Smash, please don't lower our defenses. That'll be kind of bad for us. <laughs> Alright, so after those two, we should have our sync move up. We're gonna go ahead and sync um, Flacking for obvious reasons, right? <laughs> And and then we're just gonna power up punch the side, so we could also get some, you know, uh, physical attack boosts there as well. Uh, let's get the sync move up, thundershock, ember, all that stuff. Cue those, and we're gonna power up punch the sides. And then after we get enough power punches, uh, which hopefully is after slacking sinks, right? Um, also have to keep an eye on Torkoal's health as well, so we could potion it in time uh then we'll start close combating because i i do want slacking to use its sync move first that would be ideal for us because i do not want to close combat and just lower our defenses and just get like screwed over by that all right all right here comes a bite not too bad not too bad um i should probably potion next with pikachu ah, here comes a sync move that's nice i guess not really <laughs> Okay, here's the potion, and then we should have our sync move up after that potion. Alright, alright, okay, yeah, ooh, Lucario did not take too much damage there. Thankfully, since we didn't use uh, close combat, um, we took much less damage over there, All right? Okay, let's see how much, uh... oh, we still have one more move, let's power up. one more power punch then. Take out the uh, the Rattata, hopefully, and then we could go ahead and use our sync move here. Am I playing a bit too cautious? I might be. Oh well, better safe than sorry. <laughs> it's just like 
does like a billion damage. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This once one close combat should be more than enough. There's no way it's gonna survive this one. Alright, how much damage is this thing? Uh 124. Sync moves 160. Ooh, yeah, I might survive it. Oh, n oh never mind. <laughs> Cap. Okay. So that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Um, got that cleared, right? We got what? Um, two more stages for Agatha. So our goal here, and that was probably the easiest one of, of all of them. Uh, actually, you know, let's see. What, I, I'm just worried about the dark stage, honestly. It's just, you know. The only two, like, free to play dark type strikers are what? Um, Nanu and, like, Charon, which both are kind of bad, right? Um, I mean, Nanu less, less so, because it does, does have Screech, which is nice. Um, but, anyways, uh, let me go game plan for the next one. I'll see you guys. Uh, in a second. Alright folks, so uh, this is Team Comp we're going to go with, right? Um, since we don't have any st speed buffs or whatever, right, the, the move gauge will be an issue. Move gauge will be an issue, and that's why we're bringing Charon, so we could both use Apply Ourselves to heal and also give us some uh, initial, you know, move gauge, right? Um, obviously Torkoal needs to heal, I'm probably going to use like the defensive boosts on Torkoal over here, at least use one, right? How much is it? Plus three or something, right? Oh, plus two only. Huh? Raise crit. Okay. Uh, so we're going to do that with Torkoal. Um, as for so Galio, obviously just here to the Sensor Strike, and then again, Charon, like I said, heal and uh, give move gauge that once, which is a very important one time. <laughs> okay, um, we're not gonna use Charon to spam just because we can't afford that in terms of move gauge wise, right? All right, let's get a uh, let's start this out with Will O' Wisp. Hopefully, we get that in Sensor Strike, the nose pass over here. Go ahead and apply yourself. So we start healing all that stuff. Ouch, 43 damage. Hopefully we can heal more than- I don't know. We're probably gonna heal like 30 or something, I would assume. Around that. Which is still really, really good, considering, you know, how much we were, like, losing per in comparison, right? Um, hopefully this Sun Seal Strike would be enough to take it down. It does seem like it's enough, right? For the most part. Um, so just keep on Embering Tarantar over there. And then, after that, we'll start Sun Seal Striking the Ragnarola. Or whatever it's called. Um, let's see. Four more turns before sync move. So that's gonna be another ember. So that's gonna be enough. Okay, so that's gonna be right after we KO the Ragnarola. That's really, really good for us. And we're probably gonna use an extra ember just for the heals, right? Oh, I forgot to increase our defenses. <laughs> with <Twerkle. laughs> Like I said before. The battle. Oh well. Uh, you know what? I probably can do it now. <laughs> it's a bit too late. <laughs> Um, hopefully we can survive with purple. Hopefully, which I which I am pretty um, you know I'm pretty optimistic on on that being the case for the most part. All right, here comes the sync move. Purple, so they're just gonna ember spam all that stuff, which is nice. The ember, we got like facade in there. I don't know. I I don't think I clicked it. I don't think I clicked it. All right. Oh, never mind. We, well, we did. Rip. <laughs> yeah, I instantly re regretted that. <laughs> hey, you got a Sync Orb for- or five Sync Orbs for Solgaleo, which I totally did not want to get. <laughs> but, you know, it's Villa, what can I do, right? Well, I mean, I can do multiple things. Well, actually, I can't do anything about it. <laughs> it's Villa. I mean, just hope- hopefully- oh, well, I already got it, never mind. Yeah, I, I can't even like avoid it and then like hope it comes back later because like we kind of have to use this thing to be the Villa Sage. <laughs> I'm pretty sure beating this is slightly more important than getting that uh, those sync orbs, which again, you know, I don't mind it going to Solgali. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm complaining so much about it. Okay. Ouch. Alright, just keep on Ember spamming. Can we get Move Gauge back? Move Gauge. No, that's not good. Um, you know what? Let's just Metal Claw, so we can get our Sync move up, and then that should be enough to take it out. Ooh. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ember. And then after that Metal Claw, we should have our Sync move up with Solgaleo, which hopefully would be enough, and hopefully this Rock Slide does not take out the Torkoal, which I don't think it would. Yeah, yeah, we're good there. Alright. Charon's a bit low though. Ah, uh, you know what? I should have. We should have queued a facade with Charon first. We should have queued a facade with Charon first. That's an L on us. That's definitely an L. 
and okay 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 not bad I guess <laughs> not bad Torkoal's still alive we could potion Torkoal up and then you know next time remember to use its defensive buffs <laughs> should totally forgot um anyways um next one's gonna be a hard one next one's definitely gonna be the hard one um it's probably that the one that like it would be really really nice if we could beat next stage but if I'm gonna be honest with you we probably are gonna fall there just because free to play dark types are just tough right we got like only two Charon and um, well Charon's not dark type but yeah it's crunch Charon and uh Nanu which both aren't strikers <laughs> one's part one's tech uh okay anyways let me go game plan and see what we could come up with on on that front then I right, this is the team we're gonna go with I know no dark types but ugh, the dark types just you know one's a support one's a uh, <laughs> <laughs> tech. I, I I would assume Mewtwo should deal more damage than whatever Nanu or or um or or Charon could actually. Well, actually, yeah, that's not true. I mean, Charon uh, or not uh, Nanu does have Screech, uh, but you know that's way too much setup, right? For probably not too much outcome um, either. But yeah, we're just gonna go with Mewtwo, I guess. Just you know, buff Mewtwo and hope Mewtwo does a lot of damage, which Mewtwo is really good at apparently. Um, Pikachu for heals, Mew for tanking. Pretty straightforward. We're gonna go ahead and just like blow all of Mewtwo's buffs from the beginning because I don't. There's no point in keeping it. I don't think we're gonna be using Mewtwo uh, much in the coming or the, the next stage, right? Which honestly, this might be the last one. I mean, we might like beat it and then like deal some damage to Agatha, but I do have a feeling it's probably gonna be it for the most part. All right. Oh, I didn't get an MP refresh on that. Really? Yeah. Oh well. Not that big of a deal though. Um, I don't have Swift, that's annoying, <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> okay, I got our second Nowhere to Hide. Shadow Ball, I guess. Um, do I have anything to do with Mew? I guess we could just go ahead and X speed there. That'd be cool. Um, get some speed in. Alright, first aid kicked in. There's that. Goes the Sigilith. Shadow Ball, and we should have our Sync move up. Thane attack, not too bad. I don't know why I haven't been spamming Thundershock with Pikachu, although I don't really need it like right this second, but I should be doing that. I don't know about Mew though. I don't know if I should spam with Mew, honestly. Probably not, eh? Just because of the move gauge. It is two bars. There's a slight issue. Ah, oh, wrong target. I should have taken out Dusclops over there. That was what I was supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, I definitely shouldn't spam with Mew. <laughs> Just looking at what happened there. Alright, incoming sync move. Hopefully, uh, hopefully Pikachu, I'm pretty sure Mew would survive this one. Just hopefully Pikachu survives this one. Ooh, and Pikachu does, Pikachu does. <laughs> Fortunately. Um, we should probably heal now. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Super close there. <laughs> Nine sixty-two on that. Not bad, I guess. Also not that great. Can we get a paralysis, man? Oh man, I have I have also environment on this thing, <laughs> and we're just not getting like paralysis procs. We have one more potion here. Let's use it. And there's a the last potion, and Pikachu is not really useful. Oh, I mean, well, Pikachu is really <laughs> useful even without potions, right? Um, just because Pikachu just had that one bar spam with uh, with the paralysis chance. There's always jump start, which we could also get some speed in with, right, in the future. Since, you know, Pikachu's probably just going to be fodder for the next stage. So, hey, why not boost some speed <laughs> for the team? Okay, one more Shadow Ball and should be down. Um, Psychic, ouch, ouch, ouch. Ah, uh, it would be really nice if we had that Shadow Ball back right before that Psychic came in. That kind of does hurt in terms of damage. Oh well. There we go. We cleared it. Like I said before, um, I don't expect us to be doing that well today just because, um, or, or, you know, obviously we're not going to do as, as well as we did with our actually you know, sunbolt, uh, summonable units, right? And these are all, again, free to play. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's, uh, we're on to Agatha. Like I said before, I don't expect us beating Agatha today. I mean, I didn't even expect us to beat the last dude just because <laughs> the typing and all that stuff. But uh, 
we'll try our best against Ag Agatha. We'll, we'll we'll see what we can do, right? So, um, size weak to fighting, mid weak to steel, back weak to dark. Anyways, um, I should not be doing this on camera because it's gonna take forever. But I'll see you guys once I am doing uh, done doing the uh, game plan and all that stuff. All right, so this is the team we're gonna use against Agatha here. So we're bringing Lucario, we're bringing Mew, and bringing Pikachu. Pikachu for the speed, uh, Mew to tank, and then Lucario for, I guess, damage, right? So our one goal here is just take out the sides. I don't really care about Delbert. We're, not, we're definitely not going to take Delbert out. We're not going to take... We're not I don't, We're not even going to damage a Gengar, right? Since we can't take out Delbert. Um, which Gengar's behind Del uh, Delbert. But our one goal here is just to clear out the sides. We're going to clear out all the sides with Lucario. And then... Yeah, that's our goal. So again, like I said before, Pikachu just for speed buffs, um, for move gauge regen, one bar Thundershock spam, whatever, and then uh, Mew to tank and also speed buff and all that stuff as well. Okay, so we're going to start out, we're going to just use all the buffs on Lucario because why not? <laughs> I mean, this is like L L Lucario's last battle. Like, none of these guys are, are going to survive this. So, yeah, let's do that. Anyways. Yes, let's get this started. Um, Agatha. Let's go, let's get on through. Get her jump start in, World of Dreams. Let's get her second, let's get her dar hit in. Um, another jump start. And then X speed over here. Um, and, and, and we'll see how, how we do. Alright. Let's close combat. The Mel Tank. Uh, Thundershock, forgot to do that. Do we have... No, we don't. We don't. We'll have to use Swift over here so we could get, uh, our sync move up afterwards. Um, that should be enough to take Melt Tank down, though. That's good, that's good. Um, we're probably gonna... You know what? Let's sync the Delibird. Even though, like I said, you know, we're not gonna take it out. I'm pretty confident that we could take the sides out, right? So, we could do that. At least. Alright. Let's get our beast moves queued up. All right, there we go. Um, let's take with the Delibird, and then we could just power up, punch the sides, maybe. I don't know. I actually don't know. I I just kind of want to wait for Delibird's sync move to you know blow over first before before we like use our close combat. I'm slightly paranoid about that. <laughs> so I do want Lucario to be as li uh, alive for as long as possible. All right, power up, punch. Get another one in. Double edge from the Eevee. That's probably gonna hurt. That's probably gonna hurt. Um, I think that's gonna... I think one more power punch should be enough there, right? And then we have our sync move up again, so we could also do that. Um, yeah, yeah, one more power punch is definitely enough. And then our sync move, we could just, you know, go ahead and sync the Delibird again. You know what, we might actually deal some decent damage to Delibird. <laughs> Even though, like, that's not our goal at all. <laughs> Okay, here's another power up punch. Let's go ahead, sync move. No, I probably should have swifted. No, 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 That's not what I meant to do. I was supposed to sync move first and then swift. Okay, here comes first aid. Regardless. That's not that big deal. Okay, and then and then let's focus on on the other folks, right? Um Let's close combat here. On the Eevee. Thankfully, that was before the double edge, so Mew survives another turn. <laughs> but just queuing close combat. Nothing else to do now, except for that. Since Pikachu's down, our speed is overall you know, decreased a bit. What if we take out Delibird here? Oh, come on, Lucario. 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 Oh my god, we could do it. What if we, like, power, pu power punch instead? Double power punch here? Ooh, that drill pack hurt. That drill pack hurt. One more power up punch. <gasps> Mew avoided the attack! Come on, Mew! Yes! Ooh. Oh my god, we could actually do some damage to, Gen to Gengar before we <laughs> go out. <laughs> wow! Well, that's unbelievable. Okay, it did like nothing though. But still, it was something. <laughs> It did nothing, but it was something. That doesn't make sense. Anyways, you guys get the point. Oh, nice. 
That keep on using that move. It's it's really it's doing well for you, <laughs> Agatha. <gasps> Gengar's like at almost half. Okay, we're we're definitely gonna die from this, but that was really really good. That was way better than I expected. Holy crap! Oh <laughs> rip! Damn, that was much that was much much better than I expected. Okay okay, that was really really good. Um, let's see if we can take out Agatha today. Oh, if we take out Agatha today, that's gonna be huge. What if we? Okay, what if we take out Agatha without much, like, Pokemon spent? And then we could actually use Solgaleo and deal some damage to Sawyer. Oh my god, oh my god, okay. Let me go ahead and, and, and plan for that last bit of HP. <laughs> that, well, it's actually just not last bit, it's like more than half, slightly more than half, that Gengar has, and, and I'll be back when I actually get a plan. Alright folks, so this is the uh, team we're gonna go with. Obviously, we don't have too much to do to, you know, throw around anymore. Um, most of our units are down, right? Um, but let's see if we could cheese this out. Like, we, we just do enough damage that we could take it out with this team con. And then we could, you know, save Sogala for the next one. It's, I mean, it's not like, you know, Sogala's gonna be of much help here anyways, so... Yeah, l let's see how much we could make of this one, right? Um, we're definitely gonna use Mewtwo attack, like, even though Charon has Crunch. Like, the dude's damage is just nothing, unfortunately. And hopefully apply yourself should be enough heals that Torkoal would survive a few hits, right? And we get like at least a sync move off, and I think that should be enough because do keep in mind Gengar does, you know, lower its own HP with its like stupid like speed plus move, right? So hopefully it does that as well. Alright, let's get that in. Let's get will o -Wis. Oh yeah, yeah, that move. The the run run long now that like lowers its own HP <laughs> for some reason. Um so there's that. Let's go ahead, full heal. Not that we have to heal anything. We just need to, you know, use that move so we could uh, get our sync move up sooner with me too, right? All right, it's Ember, so we get HP back and all that stuff. Three hundred, yeah, that's nothing, <laughs> unfortunately. All right, so let's see. After an Ember, we should have our sync move up with um, Mewtwo, so that's good. That's good. Hopefully the Psychon doesn't do that much damage. Probably gonna do a lot of damage. <laughs> Alright. Um, please don't die. Please. Oh, yes! We're still alive! Torkoal! Come on! Let's go, Torkoal! Let's go, Torkoal. Okay, this Shadow Cloud's gonna take it, though. We're just unfortunate. Oh! What if it's not enough? What if it's not enough? Never mind. Rip the crit. <laughs> without the crit! It might have survived. It could have survived without the crit. Well, we should have used Crunch instead of Facade, since we're... Just trying to use move gauges anyways. Oh well. Not that big of a deal. See how much that does. 500 or so. Okay. We do have a buff now with the sync move. Um, hey, 79 damage. <laughs> uh, is it going to get one shot by the Shadow Claw though? Can you like take like two hits, please? Yes! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Charon. Alright, yeah, it's going to die to Psychic, that's for sure. One MVP in this match is Gengar. <laughs> Gengar, the move, the run along now that like takes out its own like HP. It took out like half of that or something. <laughs> it's not half, but <laughs> that was hilarious. Also, the burn. It's not. It's not a lot of burn damage. It's just a bit of darn burn damage, but just enough so that we took it out right before Mewtwo was about to go down. Because Mewtwo had like no HP left as well. Oh my God, we actually have a full squad going in. Although, oh, so guy was a bit injured, but. A a pretty, you know, um, rounded up squad to go in and get some damage into Sawyer. So uh, let me go game plan for that and, and we'll see what we come up with. All right, so for uh, the Sawyer stage, this is probably the uh, team we're gonna go with. So Galio, because they're week two fighting and see, although like their first row isn't, which is like super annoying <laughs> because I'd much rather their last row um, be not week two steal and fighting on the first two rows be. Uh, so it actually, because, you know, so it has low health, right? <laughs> It'd be hard to deal with. Um, Rose appear just because move gauge, right? Um, so Galio, biggest issue is move gauge, and Rosa perfectly, you know, helps with that. 
And as for Cheryl Blissey, she's going to come in and heal. For those who don't know what the heck Cheryl Blissey does. Uh, stores a bit of allies HP and sharply raises their defense and special defense, right? So, um, we're going to go with this and see how it goes. So we're just going to start out double buff with, um, uh, with Solgaleo. And our goal here is just to take out the side. So we don't have to worry about the sides tomorrow, right? Okay. Let's see how this goes. Spread his sun, right? Is that what's it called? I don't know. I can't remember. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know why I can't. I still can't remember this move. Okay, it is spread his sun. Um, let's do that. Let's uh, get time to energize. So we get the second one in. Um, like I said before, we're just going to focus on the sides here. Okay, we got MP refresh on that. That's really nice, obviously. We want that. Get Focus Blast in there. Um, focus Blast. Should do a lot of damage, and it does. Let's just keep on using like Focus Blast until like we run out of move gauge, then we'll go back to time to energize. Um, or not actually. Let's go for our X special attack so we get our sync move up first. Um, I don't think we're gonna heal yet. We're gonna wait for it to take a bit more damage than that. All right, let's sync. Uh, when we're sync moving, let's just sync the mid. And okay, that definitely qualifies. We're using that. All right, so let's do that. Um, so Galio, how much damage? That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, unfortunately, we don't have like any free to play users that could actually uh, like boost so Galio's crit. I mean, there is one. It's Torchic, which is also from the main character, which means we can't use it. <laughs> unfortunately, Al alongside so Galio, right? So that sucks. Anyways, it's got Metal Claw. Hopefully Metal Claw should be enough. I mean, we are at, like, plus six attack. So, okay, yeah, it is. It's definitely enough. Um, let's heal up Sogalio as well. Just so the, the sync move from the Chandler doesn't take us out. Which probably will. Eventually. Not now, though. Uh, let's get Focus Blast in there. And then we'll focus on the other side afterwards. Again, like I said before, our main focus here is just to get the sides taken out. Which hopefully we can uh, accomplish that here. Without much issue. Okay, Focus Blast, because Focus Blast does more damage. Um, just get a uh, special attack in there just so we get our sync move back up again. Alright. Um, ouch, I guess, but not really. If it opponent sync move, hopefully it won't take Superior out. Because that'll be kind of like, not good. <laughs> okay, I only did like 99 damage, that's whatever. Alright, sync move on the Chandelure again. And then Sun Seal Strike on the Gigalith. I don't think one Sun Seal Strike is going to be enough. It's going to be like two. Or like one Sun Seal Strike plus like one Metal Claw. Maybe that would be enough. I don't know. Oh, or one is enough. <laughs> I guess one is enough then. Um. Let's get our Focus Blast in there. Hopefully it doesn't die. Oh! I was, I was hoping it didn't die so we could get that last time to energize in there. Because I was waiting for this Focus Blast so I could use that bit of um, move gauge first before before I go ahead and end time to energize again. Oh well. Oh, the Shadow Ball? Really? Shadow Ball? Okay. <laughs> I have worse than I guess. I don't, uh, these don't matter. I mean, we did get like plus four special attacks, so maybe we could take out the Chandelure before we get taken out. So, which one does more damage? 75, 56. Okay, definitely Hyper Voice does more damage. It's just a Ghost type, and it's like super weird using a normal type against it. Oh, we almost took Chandler out! <laughs> and we took out all the sides. So, this is definitely positive. Um, oh, we still have Mewtwo! Mewtwo's still alive! Mewtwo's still alive! We get Mewtwo in here and then throw a Shadow Ball, and then Chandler should be taken out. <laughs> I totally forgot about Mewtwo. That's hilarious. Okay. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> Mewtwo, Mewtwo actually has like a lot of HP left if, if I remember correctly, right? Mewtwo has like a ton of HP left too. <laughs> wow. 
Okay, okay, me too. Um, yeah, so for like for tomorrow, we only just need to just go in with Sogalia and, and, and take the uh, the next two, which are both, you know, weak to, um, you know, oh, well, well, you know, one's weak to fighting, one's weak to steel, right? So that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Just go in with Solgaleo plus Superior plus, I don't know, something else, whatever, probably Pikachu, right? For the spam. And uh, that, that should be an easy win, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> All right, you two. Finish the deal then. What if we like confusion take it out then we could save like save like our uh mood gauge for like shadow ball against the next one. <laughs> oh, it actually happened. Yay, we saved like one move gauge. Maybe we could get two shadow balls onto the Lagon Rock instead of one. Well it is rock dooming us, so. Oh we got a crit as well! <laughs> the what four percent or whatever percent crit. Oh, that actually didn't do much damage. Although it did lower our speed, which kinda sucks. I mean, well, that's why Kratom sucks. <laughs> for, for for us, for us not. Yeah. Move's not a terrible move. Um, it's gonna sink move in three turns. Probably gonna take us out before that. Here comes Stone Edge. Yeah, well, there we go. Hey, we got two Shadow Balls in. We got two Shadow Balls in against it. <laughs> I'll take that. Anyways, well, that's me for this one, I guess. Um, oh, by the way, I will be live streaming some more Black 2 later today. I uh, haven't done that in a while since my you know, sleep schedule's all figured out and all that. Uh, we're going to stream that in, in, in a few, probably an hour or two after I upload this. So, you know, around 4 to 5 p.m. P uh, PDT. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, um, that was day two of the Battleville. Again, free to play, right? Um, pretty good so far. Pretty good so far, I'd, I'd, I'd say, right? We got the Sawyer, so we're almost down. Um, so I just got, you know, two more left, which should get, like, absolutely just swept by Sogalio tomorrow. Um, once we do, you know, pair Sogali up with, uh, Superior again, that should be an easy sweep. And then we should be into the next, uh, set of... So, tomorrow, our number one goal is to take out Sawyer, and then maybe see if we could take out, like, a stage or two afterwards, so... Hey, it's coming along really well! Free-to-play units, we're, uh, what? Are we halfway... No, we're, uh, 25, right? We finished 14. We're over halfway there, and it's only day two. <laughs> it's only day two, guys. It's only day two, and we're halfway done build with free to play units. So, anyways, that's me with this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like, enjoy the video, sharing your channel for some more of my content. And I'll see you guys uh, in a bit during the live stream.